All right, space explorers, get ready because we're diving into some of the most mind-blowing discoveries coming from the James Webb Space Telescope. You've probably heard all the hype around JWST. This beast of a telescope is out there peering deeper into the universe than any other tool we've had. It's rewriting everything we thought we knew about space. And today, we're going to talk about a few discoveries that will leave your jaw on the floor. First up, let me introduce you to LHS 1140b. Now, this planet might not sound all that exciting at first, just another super-Earth orbiting a distant star in the constellation Cetus, but don't let that fool you. This planet is turning out to be one of the most fascinating finds we've had in years. It could even be the next big hope in our search for life beyond Earth. Yeah, you heard me. Life. LHS 1140b is what we call a super-Earth, meaning it's a whole lot bigger than our planet, six times the mass, to be exact. That's a huge deal because gravity on this world would be much stronger. Imagine walking on a planet where you weigh double or triple what you do now. Forget about casually going for a jog. On this planet, just getting off the couch would be a workout. But the real kicker? This planet might actually be able to support life. And no, I'm not just throwing that out there to get your attention. When this planet was first discovered back in 2017, astronomers thought it was pretty run-of-the-mill. They believed it had a thick, Neptune-like atmosphere made of hydrogen and helium, basically a giant gas ball. Not exactly a place where you'd expect to find life. But fast forward to today, and the James Webb Space Telescope has flipped everything we thought we knew on its head. Turns out, LHS 1140b doesn't have that thick, suffocating atmosphere at all. Instead, JWST's instruments revealed that it has a nitrogen-rich atmosphere, much like what we have right here on Earth. And you know what that means? Where there's nitrogen, there's the possibility of liquid water. We're talking huge oceans that could dwarf anything we've got on Earth. Now, we all know the golden rule of space exploration. Where there's water, there's the potential for life. If this planet has vast oceans, there could be alien life swimming around right now, waiting for us to discover them. Of course, LHS 1140b isn't your typical Earth-like paradise. There's one big difference. It's tidally locked to its star. That means one side of the planet is always facing its sun, while the other side is stuck in perpetual darkness. Picture it. One half of the planet is scorching hot, while the other half is frozen solid. The only potentially livable area would be this thin, temperate strip between the two extremes, sort of like the twilight zone of the planet. Sounds a bit like science fiction, right? But it's real, and it's out there. Now, I know what you're thinking. So, are we packing our bags and moving there? Well, not quite yet. See, confirming whether LHS 1140b has oceans is going to take some time. The James Webb Space Telescope can only observe the planet as it passes in front of its star eight times a year. And with so many other astronomers lining up to use the telescope, the waiting list is long, really long. It could be a few years before we get solid answers. But the potential is enough to make us all dream about what might be out there. But LHS 1140b isn't the only super-Earth that's caught our attention. In June 2024, astronomers at the University of St. Andrews found something even crazier. Three potential super-Earths orbiting a nearby orange dwarf star. That star is just 55 light-years away, practically next door in cosmic terms. Now, only the third planet in the system is in the habitable zone. But here's the kicker. This star is way more stable than the wild, violent red dwarfs we usually find super-Earths around. It's less likely to blast these planets with deadly radiation, giving them a better shot at developing life. One of the things we know is that a planet has to be just the right size and mass to be able to hold onto an atmosphere. These new super-Earths range from 5 to 11 times the mass of Earth, which is right in the sweet spot. Anything over 15 times the mass of Earth and life becomes nearly impossible because the gravity gets too intense, crushing any chance for complex ecosystems to develop. Of course, all eyes are on that third planet, the one chilling in the habitable zone. Could it have life? Honestly, we don't know yet. But the fact that it's orbiting a stable, sun-like star gives us a lot of hope. The researchers want to get a closer look with high-resolution imaging from JWST. Who knows? Maybe one day soon we'll find that this super-Earth is teeming with life, or at the very least, the conditions that could support it. 
And let's not forget, JWST isn't just good for finding super-Earths, it's also been showing off its power by capturing direct images of exoplanets, something we've never really been able to do before. Case in point, Epsilon Indy Dob, a gas giant about 12 light years away, JWST was able to block out the light from the star it orbits to give us a clear shot of the planet. And while it's the coldest exoplanet we've found so far, it's not exactly freezing. Its temperature sits around 35 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a whole lot warmer than you'd expect for a gas giant that far from its star. Why does that matter? Well, some gas giants can be ridiculously hot, thousands of degrees Fahrenheit. The moderate temperature on Epsilon Indidob suggests it could have clouds of gases like carbon dioxide or methane. And where you find those gases, there's always the possibility of life. Now, if you're a sci-fi fan, this might sound familiar. That's because Epsilon Indy has been a location in Star Trek, Halo, and countless other fictional universes. But now it's not just a setting in a story, we're actually seeing the planets there with our own eyes. But we're not done with the wild discoveries yet. The JWST has also found something that sounds like it came straight out of a horror movie. Zombie planets. Yeah, you heard me right. Zombie planets. These are planet-like objects that form the way stars do, by collapsing from clouds of gas and dust, but they never became massive enough to ignite into actual stars. Instead, they're just floating out there in the darkness, not orbiting any star at all. It's creepy, right? A team of astronomers recently found a whole group of these zombie planets in a star cluster about 960 light years away. And get this, one of them might be forming its own miniature solar system. These objects are huge, 5 to 10 times the size of Jupiter, and they're just drifting through space like cosmic wanderers. It's a reminder that the universe is full of surprises, and not all of them follow the rules we thought we knew. Speaking of things that don't follow the rules, JWST also spotted a galaxy that basically rose from the deed. This galaxy stopped forming stars about 20 million years ago, leading astronomers to think it was a dead galaxy. But then, out of nowhere, it started forming stars again, like it came back to life. Even crazier? Our own Milky Way might be a zombie galaxy, too. There was a time when our galaxy stopped making new stars, only to fire up the star-making process again billions of years later. Who knew we were living inside a zombie galaxy? The bottom line is, the James Webb Space Telescope is giving us a front row seat to some of the most mind-boggling discoveries in the universe. We're finding planets that could support life, stars that refuse to die, and galaxies that come back from the dead. The more we learn, the more we realize just how strange and wonderful the universe truly is. So, here's the big question. Are we alone? With every new discovery, it feels like we're getting closer to answering that age-old mystery. But until we find definitive proof, all we can do is keep searching, keep exploring, and keep asking questions. What do you think? Could LHS 1140b or one of these other super-Earths be the key to finding life beyond Earth? Are we on the verge of discovering alien oceans filled with bizarre creatures? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this trip through the cosmos, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more space content, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single update. Thanks for watching and keep your eyes on the stars because the universe has so much more to show us.